Okay, let me, do we, yeah, all right. We got everything we need. Let's go down. Okay, and we are in the portal room here. And I think we don't have to go very far at all to get into the ravine. Should we, you know what? We should actually, I wonder if we should explore this a little bit more as I lock myself in this room. Um, no, let's go and head down into the ravine. That's what I want to do and check this place out here. Um, mm, I have feather falling. Is there no lava? Well, Mm. I want to get that. I want to get that iron right there first. So let's do that, and then we'll jump down. There's definitely some gold down there that'll be worthwhile. And uh, hmm, there we go. And we'll go one more this way. Looks like I'm flying. Um, okay, give me that. Oh, that's silverfish right there. So what we'll do is <laughs> we'll go ahead and grab it with a silk touch one. And, uh, oh man, that was really almost bad. I thought that, huh, I thought, it, ugh. <laughs> well, okay, whatever, it would have been fine. Um, but I thought that when you mine a silverfish block with silk touch, it gives you the silverfish block. But I guess I was incorrect. Let's get over there. All right, there we go. All right, now, uh, hmm. eh, looks not bad, right? Looks pretty safe. Whee! Two hearts. <laughs> nice. Love the feather falling. That is going to be boots that I wear forever and ever and ever. All right. Okay. That was scary. Uh, well, what's, what is that? What is that? Is that like trap? Oh, <laughs> wait, hold on. Can we open and close it? Let's see. Oh, oh. Ah, let me out. There we go. Here we go. There we go. <laughs> Open, close, open, close. Okay. Um, oh, iron. Yeah, okay. So there is a bit of water here. It's kind of in the way a little bit, but that's okay. Now, I'm, I'm guessing that some of the blocks around here, since we are around the stronghold, are going to have silver fish. So sh we should be careful of that, but I don't really have to worry that that much because my efficiency 5 pickaxe is really good at... Uh, exposing it all right let's do this i think if we mine that out there oh hey, hey, hey. no 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 oh, oh, oh okay all right let's okay let's let's get in the water all right why do they always come at the most inopportune times Urgh. creepers creepers hey what, what did i just oh my god Urgh. How come he didn't blow that up? That's weird. Um, that's really irritating. Okay, let's get, let's get some torches so we don't have to deal with these dudes anymore. Eh. Hmm? Oh. Trying to put some bread on the wall there. Okay. Well, well, well. What do we got here? Let's go up, 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 up. Back into the stronghold here. You know, I want some iron bars, too. Uh, I want to use those around the beacon uh as decorative items because eventually you know how the beacon is buried in the ground that's eventually going to be part of our underground base and you'll be able to see it and uh i want to use iron bars to sort of surround the beacon uh block and the beams while they're in the visible area there um so let's go through this way and oh we got redstone there and what else do we have? Okay, so I'm, you know, there's a lot of lava here, and I'm not a big fan of lava, or I'm not a big fan of walking around lava. So let's just, let's just do that. Oh, see, okay, I was gonna say, see, that that's what almost killed me when the water was flowing this way. Remember, I got killed by one little stupid block of lava. Yeah, that was not really very fun. I remember that. Um. Just reminded myself of that miserable situation. Okay. Uh, let's see. What else do we have? Oh, I see something. Uh, it's just, that's some gold, and it looks kind of hard to get to. I mean, I, I guess we could get there. Let's let's go grab it. We might as well grab the resources while we're here. 
I mean, we're at the bottom of a ravine. We might as well take advantage of it and get all the resources that we can. And actually, we're getting over to a place we probably couldn't have gotten to if I hadn't done that. So good for me. I hear a skeleton. Mm, whatever. Okay, let's grab that and that. Okay. And let's go this way. Oh, see, there is there's some stuff over here. Let's uh let's put this here. Up oh, of course. Why don't you come over here? Come over here. There's something lovely for you. Right, 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 right. Oh, wow, you're pretty smart. You're pretty smart there, buddy. Just trying to find a way around the lava. I Okay, hey, 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 hey. You I don't have any arrows? Ah, oh, that's dumb. Wow, they found the way. That's crazy. Will you stop it? Wow, they found a way around the lava. I am, I'm actually really impressed. And I thought I'd never say that about a creeper, like ever. But uh, that creeper impressed me with his pathing skills because you know, you would expect him to just kind of fall into the lava there. But uh, wow. <laughs> He actually had a bit of intelligence. I hate to admit calling a creeper anything having to do with intelligence, but yeah, you know, you got to give it to him. That was uh, that was pretty smart. Okay. And zombies are not that smart. And thankfully, these aren't 1.6 zombies, which as you guys know, I would have killed him, and then he would have called like 27 friends. And for those of you guys who watch Ask Think, there's the... Special number 27 that I told you guys about it just I don't know what it is But I <laughs> when I choose a number out of my head Just a random number it always 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 ends up being the number 27. I, I, I can't explain it I don't really know why I mean, I would I guess it's like subconscious like if you were to ask me Oh, what's your favorite number? I'd be like, I don't know but uh, the fact that I oh the fact that I pick it up uh, when I pull a number out of the air, it always is number 27. I'm guessing that would probably qualify as my favorite number. I don't know. Okay, and a uh, little parkour up here. Oh, I think... Um, okay, it looks like... Are we dead ending or what? What are we doing here? Yeah, we are dead ending. Okay, that's fine. I'll leave it lit up. Um, better to leave it lit that we know what we've got there and we don't have any uh, other mobs coming in behind us. Okay, that goes that way. Oh, 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 there we go. Let's grab some of that. We need our resources for our beacon. I want to make our beacon. Oh, look up here. Um, I want to make our beacon. I know, I know. I'm not supposed to use it on that, but um, I want to make our beacon uh, three or have three beacon blocks. Um, so we need to get ourselves some wither skulls, wither skeleton skulls. And you guys know how much fun that was the last time, but I'm going to actually watch a few videos and maybe look for some tutorials on the best way to increase the spawn rate of uh, wither skeletons. Because right now I only have a looting two sword and... Even when I had looting three, we had a really hard time getting those skulls. Like, it took hours and hours. I don't want to do that again. So, um, I'm going to see if there's a way to spend a little bit of time and uh, resources so that when you want the withers to spawn, they will. There's got to be a way that someone's figured out to make it more likely for the wither skeletons to spawn. So... We'll have to figure that out. All right, get some more iron. And uh, then we can make the awesome beacon with plenty of cool stuff. Man, I want to practice. Okay, let's not do that. I want to practice with the ender pearls. Okay, let's see. All right, and let's eat some bread here and. Hmm, I don't know what this is. Let's see. Um, hmm. Do we want to go this way? All right, let's try. Okay, and a little bit more. That's going to make it super dark in here. I don't really see a reason. Eh, be careful. Be careful. No. Okay, let's just go back. 
And uh, let's go back to that ravine and use our uh, use our ender pearls, because that was kind of the point of getting them was to navigate this ravine with them. Because I always see people using the uh, ender pearls to get places you normally. Could. Okay, spider. Oh wow, look, it's like a whole little family of mobs. That's lovely. Okay, okay, well that's lovely. Thank you for that, Mr. Creeper. Um, so yeah, I always see people, um, using the, oh, look at that up there, uh, using the ender pearls. <laughs> well, this is total waste of the ender pearl, but hey, <laughs> well, I've got a few, so, um, <laughs> and they're fun, even though I just smacked my head into the wall there with it. Uh, okay. So, oh, actually. Okay. So we've got the ravine right here. It's a bit dark. Oh, look, there's something over there. I wonder what that is. Boop. <laughs> ah, that's fun. Um, it's a bit... Well, I would say it's a bit of a waste because, I mean, kind of is in the way I just used it. But, I mean, if I'm going to have a full-fledged Enderman farm, which I will eventually... Oh, that was smart. Um, you know, who cares? <laughs> Well, uh, we can have unlimited ender pearls and use them all the time. Although, that's probably not the smartest way to use them. Be careful, no lava, please. All right, and oh, 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 oh did I just say no lava? Because we almost landed in it. Boy, oh boy. All right, let's go this way. What do we got here? This looks a nice little dark area. Oh, oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about, baby. All right, let's go a little bit further. This up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. And you're not taking my diamonds. That's all I can say. Get out of here. Get out of here. Uh, you can stay, Bat. I hope I didn't kill you. Um. Okay. Sweet. And I've got... All right. Forge in three. Unbreaking three. Okay. So we've got one. Okay. How many do we get? One. Hmm. Oh, that's kind of a waste. Oh, yeah. We got three out of that one. Oh, we got four out of that one. Sweet. Okay, and so we're up to five, and now we've got 11. Oh, wow. Okay, so that was, uh, what, four pieces, four, four diamonds, and uh, we got 11 out of it. And you know what's funny? I always love it when, uh, <laughs> I think it's really funny. I'm just going to check and see if there are any other around here surrounding it. Uh, when, I, uh, when I go into one of my videos, one of my Let's Plays, and uh, someone new to the channel will see all the diamonds that I have and they immediately say, oh, you, you know, you created, you hacked, you cheated. And, uh, you know, all it really takes is a fortune three big ax. Cause as you saw there, I got 11 diamonds just like that. So all you need to do is find what four or five veins like that. Or if you find an eight vein, you're going to get 15, 20 diamonds out of eight and, uh, you're all set. So I, I, I always think it's really funny. Um, that they're like, oh, and there's no way you got those diamonds. But it really, all it takes is a fortune pickaxe and a little bit of branch mining, and you're going to find the diamonds and uh, and turn them into something awesome. So, And you guys all saw the Cave of Wonder, which was awesome. Uh, okay, so it turns out zombies are not as smart as creepers and skeletons with their pathing skills, clearly. Uh, let's see if we can get this. Oh, nice. And uh, I'm trying to think of how much... Wow, this is a lot of lava. I'm trying to think of how much iron I need for that beacon. I need a lot to finish it, honestly. Um, probably going to have to explore more caves to get enough. What do we have here? 40? Eh, 40 is not bad. Uh, let's see here what... Um, hmm. Let's see. Oh, boy. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Holy cow. Be careful. Okay. Is there any? No, there's really no reason to go that way. Okay. Uh, mm hmm. All right. Oh, geez. Oh, I just had a heart attack. I thought I fell into lava down there. Okay. Um, mm hmm. Do, do, do. Okay. And, well, let's go up this way. And the cool thing is, I don't. Well, it's not as impressive as I wanted it to be. Let's throw it up there and see what's up there. Cool. <laughs> I love it. Okay, there's nothing up here, so that was stupid. 
Um, hmm. Ah! <laughs> okay, let's go up there. Whee! <laughs> I love these things. So cool. Let's, uh, let's grab some of this. No, not that. Let's grab these uh, iron bars here. We'll grab this stone also at some point. Um, obviously not all of it. I didn't realize uh, when, when I came into the stronghold initially and I went back home to get the silk touch pickaxe, I didn't realize how much of this stone there was. So, you know, I really wanted to collect it because I thought it was limited resource and I found out that it is not limited really at all. Um, so uh, let's Grab some more of these. That way we don't have to waste iron to make them. Sweet. This is a lot of iron bars. This is some valuable goods here. Uh, let's see, how many do we have? 20, that's getting there. I forgot how many I'm gonna need for my beacon setup, but it doesn't hurt to get more. And you know what else I wanna do? I wanna, I wanna loot the library a little bit, get some books. <laughs> Another one of those funny doors. Oh, that's the same one. Um, but uh, yeah, I want to go to the library and get some of the bookshelves out of there. That way we can uh, we can actually move some of them. To, I'm not going to loot the entire thing, but uh, we can move some of them into the end. Because uh, then we can have our Enderman farm and make it an XP farm sort of thing. Because, you know, uh, our skeleton one is nice, but we've got so many res... Huh? We've got, oh look, this is what you guys were talking about. So <laughs> there it is. Okay, so you guys were mentioning that, saying that there's a torch in the air and uh, hovering torch. So there it is. I, I missed it so many times and I'm gonna leave it there cause it's cool. Uh, I'm not gonna mess with it. I don't wanna ruin the uh, floating torch there. But um, <laughs> uh, I was wondering what you guys were talking about and yeah, so I want to move it into the end and then we can uh, farm the Enderman because I would rather have Ender Pearls than arrows and bones. Because, um, you know, we've got enough arrows and bones. I built this, didn't I? Okay. Okay, what else do we have? Let's uh, we'll go up a little bit here. Let's go. Oh, let's eat some bread. <laughs> And, you know, I was, I was actually hoping to get up to 100 XP, but I think, I mean, people said it's impossible, and I know it's not impossible. You can get 100 XP. It is perfectly possible. We came this way before. Uh, but what are you doing? But um, it takes, like, pretty much an infinite amount, not an infinite amount of time, but a very, very long time to get up there to that level. What are you doing, man? This is a stronghold. You don't belong here. Go away. Oh, look. He dropped, did he drop an iron ingot? He sure did. Huh. That is a pretty rare drop. But as you guys see, every time I pick up XP, it doesn't really move the bar at all. So um, I'd really like to... I'd really like to, to get to 100, but I don't think it's going to happen. But we can use those XP levels that we got from the ender dragon as sort of our little reward um we should use those to make some pretty enchantments for some stuff um yeah no we don't need to go back down that way all right let's find the book uh the book oh right because there is a chest in the library that i missed is this one in the air no this one is not in the air okay so uh I do read the comments, guys, and you did tell me that I missed a chest in the, li oh, the library. So I'm going to go check that out now. Let's see. And I really didn't get to use the ender pearls much at all. Maybe we'll use them outside a little bit and uh, have some fun with them because uh, they are a cool thing to toy with. Oop, oop. They are a cool thing to toy with uh, and, and get to places that... Ah! Get to places you couldn't normally get. <laughs> what? Okay, wait, wait. Did that open up anything? No, it didn't. Okay, darn it. Ah. Okay. Um. Mm. Mm hmm. And. Hmm. Uh, not that way. Let's try this way. Oh, look. Well, we got some iron, but it's not. It's the way out, kind of. Oh, we can go that way actually. Okay. More iron. Don't mind if I do. Oh yeah. Hook me up, baby. All right. Um, 
And oops, let's go that way. Little parkour area there. Okay. And go through here. This looks like we're getting somewhere. What? what oh, that, what? That's weird. Whoa. That's not a jail cell you want to be in, is it? <laughs> oh, man. All right. Uh, cool. Okay. Um, <laughs> Ooh. oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Ho, oh, uh, that was almost bad. Uh, oh, right. Okay, so we're here now. Um, yeah. I'm trying to remember where the live quiet. I'm trying to remember where the library is in regards to this, and I actually can't remember very well. Oh, that's a great light. I was going to say, that's a great lighting. I mean, it was a great lighting glitch. Uh, okay, and that, uh, wow, that's pretty dark down there. Ooh. Well, it's just a staircase up to the top. Okay, put that there. Oh, okay. Oh, uh. I don't want to go through that door, guys, because of, um, you know, that guy. What are you doing there? Are you waiting to kill me? Ah. All right, let's do this. Let's do this thing. Oh, wait. Oh. Come on. Come on. All right. Forget it. I ain't scared of you. Come on. Oh, yeah. One shot, one kill, baby. Ha <laughs> ha. Creeper, creeper, creeper. He was peeking through that door though, right? <laughs> he was ready to to take me. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, I'm good. All right, I was going to say. They can't be in there, can they? Let's break in though. Oh, what? Oh, oh, I found the library. <laughs> uh, well, um, interesting. Okay, well, we found the second level library. <laughs> That's funny. Um, okay, so, let, see, you know, so, supposedly there is a chest on the second level of the library, but I don't actually see it, guys. Um, but what we'll do is, we'll leave that intact down there, and is this the, uh, silk touch, great. We'll grab a few of these here, and the cool thing about silk touch is when you get these, um, bookshelves you get to keep it doesn't just break into books it actually keeps the whole bookshelf so you don't uh you don't lose all the wood that you used or well that they used to make the bookshelves so there we go come on and i guess technically i should be using a silk touch axe because it is wooden but i don't have one so this is gonna have to do where are they I'm not getting them. Let's uh drop the dirt. There we go. So let's pick all these up. Okay. And what do we got? Twelve? Let's go with uh with another dozen. And I'll be happy with that. So here we go. Come on. Oops, that was dumb. Alright. Get some more bookcases. And uh, this will be good because we don't have to waste um our time trying to collect all the resources for these. Although, uh, well, actually, the, the, the main resource for these is leather that you worry about because um, because sugarcane grows very fast. So that's uh, and, and you can you can chop down a tree or two. But uh, oh, boy, that almost was bad. Uh, but yeah, the one thing you worry about is all of the leather from the cows. I don't really like killing cows for leather if I don't have to. So we don't have to because... All right. Oh, there's the chest. Look at that, guys. It was hidden. <laughs> More books. Hilarious. Uh, let's drop the bone. Get the books. And... Oh, we've got it. Oh, wow. That was... Uh, that was not cool. Okay. Um, And what I'm going to do is actually take this chest... Because, well, it's always good to grab them. There we go. Give me the chest. Give me the chest. Drop the bone. Drop the stone. Oh, well, the gravel's gone too. 